Hello, hello friends, Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. It's another reveal and review video, you guys. How exciting because I am motoring through some of my canvases now. I have, is it six or seven kitted up at the moment? I'm actually not 100% sure. I'll have to check. But on a few of them, I'm sort of reaching the end. And so you're probably going to see quite a few reveals and reviews in the next month or two. And I'm sure that my next months in review video is actually going to have just thinking about it, at least four canvases, hold thumbs. So anyway, gang, today's reveal and review video is of a Dreamer Designs kit. This is one of their newer kits. It is a Curtis Rankovich image, so let's take a look. So guys, here you go. Ta-da! <laughs> My famous ta-da. Okay, so gang, what do you think? Is this one not another beauty from Curtis Rykovich? As always, I am going to push her up and down. This one is large, so I'm most definitely not going to be able to get the whole thing um, on the screen and in frame. I haven't even gotten quite to the bottom there and the top is at, you know, or against my wall. So basically, you're nearly at the bottom. So guys, while you have a look at this beauty, let me give you some stats. So this piece is called Mariposa. It's released by Dreamer Designs. The artist is Curtis Rykovich. The size is a 60 by 80 centimeter canvas, so pretty large. I mean, specifically for me, I generally don't work on massive canvases. I work on large canvases, but not massive ones. So this one for me was pretty large. Square drill diamond painting with a total of 66 colors and 6 ABs. Now, because she is so large and she can't fit on or in, you know, in the view field and on your screen properly, what I'm going to do is around about here somewhere, I am going to insert a picture that I took of this canvas taken obviously from further away so that you can get the feel for the full end result. So basically what you're seeing now is obviously the full canvas, how she looks if you had to hang her up in your house or anything like that. Right, so now moving in on with the actual review, guys. So let me start with the kitting up process. I absolutely loved the process of kitting up. Um, there was zero static in the bags. The labels are very small so that they fitted nicely onto the containers. Let me show you maybe. So you can see the small label there fits nicely onto the container. So I really had a good um, experience kitting up. The only thing I must mention is that strangely enough two labels were missing. They were not on the um, sticker sheet and they were literally missing. I looked everywhere. I looked in the box, on the canvas, on the front, on the back, on my floor, on my clothes, everywhere. They were never found. They were missing. And since then, I've never found them since. Like I thought maybe at some point I'm going to see it sticking to my table or something. No, nope, they never, ever turned up. So that was quite strange. But other than that, the kitting up process was really good and I enjoyed it. Um, the canvas. The canvas is a good quality canvas. It is soft and velvety. It has the scalloped edges and the poked holes like... Um, a lot of good quality stores have. It was a little bit wrinkly, like it's almost like these canvases don't fit properly into the box. Like when you take it out of the box, the one side is always a little bit wrinkly and crinkly. There's still a little bit of a tear, but I'm sure after this, you know, this canvas has now been lying flat for what? About two or three months so it's not as evident now but the one side of the canvas did have quite a lot of wrinkles and stuff in it almost like it almost appeared like it had to be squashed into the box a little bit I also did have some issue with this canvas lying flat it just didn't want to flatten properly um, and I actually had to leave it for a very long time before it sort of got as flat as it is now. So yes, that was a little bit strange considering that this is the newer kit. This is the upgraded kit. So I did find it strange that the edges always wanted to turn over. The whole canvas just didn't want to lie flat. Now, in regard to the symbols, 
I had a very mixed um, experience because, again, this is the new and upgraded kit. So I would have thought that any issues with the symbols would have been 100% resolved. Um, in my experience working on this kit, they aren't. I definitely battled with some of the symbols. Um, they were not clear. For example, there was black printing on dark backgrounds in some of the dark orange and red colors. So the background, like if you look at this dark red, it's, it's quite dark. And then I would get to that section, I think it was specifically the symbol T. I remember that being an issue and one or two others. I would get to that section and it's, you know, you couldn't really see the symbol because it had been printed on black and the background was so dark. So for me, again, another strange experience considering that this was an updated and upgraded kit. Um, but, you know, for the most part, the symbols were good. Um, they were fine. For, for most of the symbols, they were absolutely fine. I didn't encounter any blurring or smudging or anything like that. My criticism is just that Dreamer Designs needs to still have a look at the color that the symbols are printed in. You know, if there's a dark background, you have to print in white and so on. So that was pretty much my experience with the symbols. Now, as for the drills... I told you that while I was doing my kitting up, I absolutely loved it and there was zero static. Now, strangely enough, the drills started to stick together in the containers, which was very weird. Again, not all colors. The three tens were specifically bad. They were sticking together like crazy and probably about maybe another three or four colors. Again, a strange experience because when I was kitting up, there was zero static and the drills were fine. Once they got into the containers and I started using them, they were sticking together. Um, now, please, guys, before you tell me or you're going to think or say that it's to do with my weather, no, it's not. <laughs> because if that was the case, then I would have that experience with all the diamond paintings I'm working on. And I've had that experience with none. So I am not a believer that the weather has a lot to do with static in the drills. I have really paid attention over the years to... The weather I'm experiencing at the time, when I experience static, which kits I experience it with and so on. And really it's not linked to the weather. I think it's something to do in the manufacturing process. And if you think back to a time not so long ago when Diamond Art Club had specific issues with static in their drills, what did they report to everybody? They came back to report that yes, it's a manufacturing issue. They've looked into it. They found a way of addressing it and they have hopefully fixed it. That was their response. So again, that leads me to think that the weather really does not have a lot to do with the static. It's caused and created at the manufacturing process when those drills are either manufactured or bagged. So the fact that these drills were all fine in the bags and when I was kitting up and then suddenly once they got in a container, they just all wanted to stick together. When I say all, I don't mean all the colors. I just literally mean all the drills in that specific container. Like I say, three or four colors were affected by that. I hate it when my drills stick together in the container. I don't have one of those drill separator things. I don't know what you officially call them, but I don't have one of those. And so when I try and use the old fashioned method of putting another tray so you've got your tray here with your staticky drills. You put another tray on top and you grind. You know, I do that, but the drills fly everywhere and it's very irritating. So yes, I wasn't happy with the fact that the drills were sticking together in the containers. Over and above that, I didn't think the three tens were great. Um, there was a lot of trash in the three tens and I did also experience gapping. Um... It wasn't like this kit in general, and we'll take a closer look in a little bit, the gapping was not bad. And as this kit sits for longer and longer, the drills seem to fit together even better. So this is not a kit where I'd say, oh my gosh, don't order from Dreamer Designs. They've got real gapping issues. No, I wouldn't say that. As you can see, I think you can probably tell it's really looking gorgeous. This kit ended up looking gorgeous. And even though there was some gapping, it wasn't bad gapping. It wasn't gapping that really bothered me, but it is something that I need to say to you guys. I think Dreamer Designs could still improve their squares. I think that their squares are a little bit gappy. I know some people don't have an issue at all. This um, canvas and the quality of the squares in general, and specifically with regards to the gapping, 
was a better experience for me than I've had in the past with Dreamer Designs. The very first kit I worked on from Dreamer Designs, I'm actually surprised that I bought any more kits because I ran out of colors, the gapping was crazy, there was just issue and issue and issue. I didn't have that here. Yes, there is still a little bit of gapping. Let me see if you can see here in the lighter colors. Uh, sorry guys, let me just get my hand under there because I also want to see that it's properly focused. Let me maybe pull it back a little bit. Yeah, hopefully, you see I'm not even seeing this gapping was worse. Like now as I look at it here, it really doesn't even look like gapping. So I actually think these drills may be pulling together now that the glue is drying a little bit. As I'm standing here now and I look at this top section, I can see that there is a little bit of gapping. When I pulled it up to the camera, it actually wasn't showing that. I can see the gapping there, there, there in the lines. And as you guys know, with lighter colors, gapping always shows more. If you have a look here in the face and the darker colors, you won't see any gapping. So really, in general, I can't fault the gapping or I can't say it was a major issue there is very slight gapping not a big deal and as you can probably tell not influencing you know the end result because the end result is still absolutely gorgeous and as we all know diamond paintings are not supposed to be viewed extremely close up I know that's a difficult thing for us as diamond painters to accept because when we're working on the canvas our faces are right there you know we are right close to the canvas and we a lot of us I suppose are using light pads so you notice this gapping straight away and you think oh squares I hate squares I'm having a terrible time look at the gapping how do I get it straight and everybody gets into a panic but actually once you turn your light pad off once you finish a section and when you stand back you can really see that with a lot of square canvases even if there is a little bit of gapping it doesn't affect the end result. So that is sort of what I have to say about the gapping um, you know with regards to to this specific canvas. I can also tell you guys that hooray I didn't run out of any drills. Now that is another thing that is a pet peeve of mine is when you run out of drills because it really is unnecessary and unfortunately I see quite a few people in the Dreamer Designs group and on Facebook and, and YouTube talking about the fact that they ran out of drills. I ran out of drills in my first canvas and a lot in like five or six colors and I was not at all happy about that. Like I say there's no in my book there's no excuse for that. Um, some of the colors ran slightly low, like if you were a very, very fussy drill selector, let's say, you may find that you could have run out of one or two. I'm not an immensely fussy drill person. However, having said that, I obviously do remove drills that are problematic. So some of the colors did run a little bit low, but, but not, not in a big way. But the, the main point is that I was able to be a little bit fussy with my drills and I didn't run out of colors. So, you know, that was a that was a real plus because Dreamer Designs does seem to have that issue and it seems to still be a little bit of an issue that people are running out of colors. Unless that is just applicable to their older kits and their newer kits like this one, they changed that, I'm not sure. But my specific experience with this kit is that I didn't run out of any colors. Um, rendering. I thought the rendering was great and to have a look again at the rendering I'm just obviously going to push her up and down I thought the rendering was great I thought the use of the different colors and the shadings was fantastic yes her skin is purple that is intentional that is what the original image looks like the original image does have purple skin I really thought the rendering was fantastic I know some people don't like the Dreamer Designs rendering or rendering style because they find it pixelated and they sometimes find, well, because Dreamer Designs does a lot of line blocking or uses a lot of lines in their rendering rather than confetti per se, I hope you guys know what I'm saying, some people don't like the rendering style. For me, the rendering style has really grown on me and I think it suits specific kits and this is one of those kits. I think the end result is lovely. And this is always my, <laughs> my strange experience with Dreamer Designs. I will work on a kit and my experience will not be perfect. It will not be terrible or even bad, but it's never perfect. But yet, 
I've finished a couple of Dreamer designs and when I finish them, I'm absolutely head over heels in love with the end result. So, you know, for that reason, I continue to buy their kits. I've got a large stash of Curtis Rykovich kits and, and I do continue to work on them and love them. Because even though the process of working on them might not be 100% perfect, I do always really enjoy and love the end result. And this kit was no different. There was... Um, a lot of confetti in this kit you can probably see. I mean, if you look at her hair, if you look at her face, if you look at the butterfly wings, you know, that was all confetti. But then as we move to the top, this background where all the oranges and yellows and reds are, that had nice sections of color blocking. I'm going to just let you have a look. I mean, look guys, you know, there are blobs of the same color all over the place. I was able to get out a multi-placer. I think I only ever used my four multiplacer though on this kit, but things did go a little bit quicker once I got to the background and I was able to do some color blocking. If you are a person who likes a good balance of confetti and color blocking, then this would be a good kit for you. Although just note that probably 60 to 70 percent, probably more like 70 percent was quite confetti heavy and I'd say about 30 percent was color blocking, which is probably the norm. You know, I don't think you get a lot of kits where you get 70 percent color blocking and 30 percent confetti. So in that regard, I was a happy camper. Right. So that pretty much brings me to the end of this review, you guys. What are my final thoughts? I think I've actually sort of already told you my final thoughts. My final thoughts are that the process of working on this kit was not perfect, but I still recommend Dreamer Designs. I think I had enough fun and enough enjoyable experience with this one to really recommend Dreamer Designs. And as I've already said, even though the process was not perfect, the end result is marvelous. I love it. I'm sure it's going to be in my top 10 of this year very happy with it so yes the small niggles that i had well so be it they go with the process none of the niggles were a big enough deal for me to not order from them again and you know also just to touch on like small well they're not small things they're actually big things but i've always found dreamer designs to have excellent customer service and they have excellent sales they are a company that regularly has sales i mean they have more sales definitely than a diamond art club for example you know, with Diamond Art Club, which as you guys know, I absolutely adore, in order to get the kit prices down, we're often having to use our points. Now with Dreamer Designs, they also have a point system. You also get points, but they often have sales and good sales, like BOGO 50%, you know, in other words, buy one, get your second one 50% off. So there are a lot of reasons to support the store. I personally love them. I wish they would release more art in my style. Unfortunately, they don't. They release a lot, a lot, a lot of landscapes and, um, you know, cityscapes, landscapes, you know, uh, buildings, those type of things. And as you guys know, if you followed me for a while, that is just not my style at all. I don't have any landscapes. No, that's a lie. I have a few landscapes in my stash. But I'm actually, I think I only have three or four and I'm actually trying to de-stash two of them at the moment because I'm just not a landscape person. So I really wish that Dreamer Designs would do more portrait style art or more dark art and that type of thing. I've emailed them about it before, many months ago, probably over a year ago now. People have posted, posted about it in the Facebook group. So they know, they know there's a demand for it, but as of yet, they don't really seem to be paying attention to that. I think they are happy with the style of art that they release, which is fine. That is totally their prerogative. I just don't buy there that much because there's just not a lot of art that I love. The Curtis Rykovich images are things that I love, but I am also getting a bit more fussy about which ones I'm buying just because my stash of Curtis images or damsels is so huge. So I'm now only buying ones that I absolutely adore. Anyway, gang, on that note, let me leave things there. I hope you are all having an awesome month, that you're getting lots of diamond painting in, and that you enjoyed this video. I will obviously link Dreamer Designs in the description below, so if you haven't checked them out before, you can go and have a look what they've got to offer at the moment. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new, please do sub subscribe. I'm slowly heading towards that thousand subscriber mark, which is really exciting for me because 
to be honest, I just never really thought I'd get there. <laughs> when I started the channel, it seemed like such a long, long way off. But it's great to know that you guys are enjoying the channel and that you like the content I'm putting out. Okay, friends, on that note, let me sign off and say happy diamond painting. Bye.